All right, so I finally got the hardscape of my 75 gallon to a point where I like it. It's dirted. I have some uh, organic potting soil down underneath the pool filter sand. Um, I'm going to be ordering some plants sometime either today or over the weekend. Uh, I really, really like this wood. There are a lot of grooves and stuff to where I can put some rhizome plants, so I'm probably going to have quite a bit of like java ferns and anubias and bucephalandras and stuff over here in the back corner a uh, couple of um, tiger lotus bulbs that uh, attach to the sponge filter <laughs> or not the sponge filter but the uh, intake filter sponge um, i got those from aquatic arts along with the the pseudomegill and the celibus rainbows order had a Hopefully this wood will sink, will waterlog soon. It's, uh, I bought this wood a little while ago and I had it in my bath, in one of my bathtubs. I have two bathrooms and I live alone. So I put them in the bathtub and uh, they were, they still floated, but but I can tell that they got a little bit heavier, so maybe if I just keep them in here for a while instead of in the bathtub. This is going to be a, uh, I plan on making a native tank. So uh, hopefully, if, I'm going to do some rock work down at the bottom, put in some darters. I haven't decided whether I want to go rainbow or orange throat or green side or whatever. Uh, I'd like to have some rainbow shiners or maybe some red belly mountain bases or something. Maybe some mad tom catfish. I don't know. I just uh, haven't quite decided, but uh, yeah, I've had this tank since June. It is October and it has not had any fish in it yet. I've. <laughs> I've broken it down and I tore it down and put it back up probably about four times because I just wasn't happy with whatever was in there. So I thought, ah, okay, well, I'll, I'll do something different. But I'm happy with this now. So yeah, I'm uh, going to be ordering some plants, get that set. It, it's, it is cycled. It's absolutely cycled, so it's pretty much ready for fish, although I need to do a water change. It's a little cloudy. But yeah, finally, finally going to get some fish in here. Oh, I need to hang that light, too. It's just been sitting on top. Um, one of the bulbs is out, too, so I need to get another bulb. Uh, yeah, I, the stand. I built the stand. Forgive all the... Uh, I've, I've been doing a little bit of like work here, but... I uh, built this stand because the stand uh, when I bought this tank, it came with one of those particle board things. I bought it used off a of Facebook Marketplace. Some guy was moving to Chicago, and he's like, "I need to get rid of this now." So I bought it off him. The whole thing for two fifty. Uh, but the <sighs> I didn't trust the stand. It's still fine. Um, I'm using it in another room to, that's what my 220s are on. But I decided I was gonna try and build my own stand because uh, Joey King of DIY made it look so easy in his video. I thought, oh wow, he did that in a couple hours? I could probably double that and I'll be fine. No, it took me two weekends. I built it, found out it was a little wobbly after I was done, so I tore it down and rebuilt it. Now it's good. Now it's fine. Nice and even. One of my great accomplishments. All right, so hopefully the next time I show this, it will have plants in it. And then I'll, I'll let that go for just a hair before I get fish. But uh, one of my local fish stores has been stocking up on uh, some native North American fish. They did have, last week they had Rainbow darters. I know they've had rainbow shiners. They had some hog suckers. They had uh, 
They had a few different darters. They had swamp darters and a, some other darter, I can't remember. Um, I know they get daces every so often. Uh, I think they had golden, golden top minnow, I think it's called. And emerald shiner. Oh, there's my alarm. All right, well, time to get ready for work. So, thank you.